All right, here's a good question. We've done some of this kind of thing before, but it's written in a funny way. So they want to know when the po two populations will be equal to each other. So this represents the population of one, and this represents the population of other. So you just go 17.1e to the 0.0017x. When does that equal 13.8e to the 0.0133x? And I guess now I'm sort of in a quandary because uh, I'd love to use the power rule, but the power rule is a little, I guess I could use the power rule. So um, maybe first let me divide, just so it's not as hard. I'm gonna divide both sides by 13.8 to cancel these out on this side. So 17.1 divide 13.8 is 1.239. E to the 0.0017X is equal to E 0.0173, no, 133X. It's a three. Okay, now I'm just thinking, do I change this from log exponential to log form or try the power rule this bothers me because that's gonna be a more complicated power rule thing to do let me try and change change the form so let's use this as my base so log base e of 1.239 uh, e to the 0.0017x is equal to the exponent 0.0133x. Okay, but now I've got a product here. So this number times this thing. So if it's a product, I can use the product rule to expand that log base e of 1.239 plus log base e of e to the 0.0017x. And that's equal to 0.0133x. What I could have done is just done this. Um, I could have logged both sides right off the bat and I would have ended up doing the same thing on both sides. But let's try this. Okay, this is something I can figure out. So the lawn of 1.239 is 0.214 plus, now I can use the power rule to bring this out front, 0.0017x, and then log base E of E is one, equals 0.0133x, Okay, now let's subtract this on each side. So I get 0.214 is equal to, if I subtract that, that would be uh, 18, no, 16, yeah, uh, 0.0116x. I think that's correct when you subtract those. And then we'll divide both sides by 116 divide 0116. Let me make sure I've got all my numbers there right. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, calculator. Divide by 0 0.0116. That comes out to 18.448, I think. Somewhere on there. Now they say... Uh, estimate what the population will be when the populations, what the population will be when the populations are equal. Oh, so X, that is the population, right? X is the year where X equals zero. Oh, so this means 
that's the year. So that means it's 18 years after 1998. So 1998 plus 18, that'll give you six, uh, one, the year 2016, the populations will be equal. But then this says, um, estimate what the population will be when they're equal. So this is when they get to be equal, at 18.448 years after uh, 2000, September of, two, of 1998. But then I'll need to plug that back in to one of these equations one of those equations up there. So let's try that, let's do g of x. g of x is equal to 13.8e to the 0.0133x. Let me try that on the calculator. Okay, that comes out to, what was it? 17.645. So that comes out to 17. Point Six four five. So G at eighteen point. That should have been should have been four four eight. It should have been uh, point four eight three. I had it in decimals, so I did this stuff correctly over here. But um, I made that mistake. So at eighteen point four eight three is equal to that. So this is probably in thousands in millions. So, 18 years, 18 and a bit years after September uh, 1998, was it? The population of both places, and I did it on, on with both of those formulas up there, and it came out to the, the same number. The population would be 17.645 million. Okay, hopefully that helps you with that one. That's a good question.